So I've been saying this ever since the whole Trump situation took off, right? I've been saying this for a while. I don't want these people banned off of social media. I do not want them silenced. And I know there's a lot of people that are advocating for that right now. I don't want that because they are going to show the world exactly who they are. The masks have been coming off of all of these psychos that we know have been psychos for a long time. And if anybody had any doubt over the, whether or not these people were actually psychopathic creatures, I think the event with Donald Trump has absolutely proven that they are. We have good old Jack Black, a man who has TDS through and through, is now apparently trying to say, don't miss Trump next time. Uh oh, you know what? Miss Lemons must be on crack, right, kids? Yes, ladies and gentlemen, apparently he had his birthday recently and he wished upon a cake. And when he wished upon a cake, he said, Don't miss Trump next time. And I know a lot of people are going to defend Jack Black and say, oh, he was just joking. He's just joking. No, he's not, ladies and gentlemen. Let's be very clear. I am perfectly okay with jokes. I am a big advocate for dark humor. I am all for it. There is nothing that's off limits for me. You can absolutely make the joke if I actually believe that you're making a joke. The thing is, when it comes to Jack Black or people like Destiny, we know that they're not making jokes, right? Alyssa Mercante, they're not making jokes. What they're doing is they're being passive aggressive, right? They want to put something out there for the world to consume, but they want to be able to hide it under the guise of a joke. So that way, when they get backlash, they could just say, oh, well, bro, was this a joke? So let's get into this article, guys, from that park place. But of course, before we do, if you are new here, just consider hitting that subscribe button. I would greatly appreciate it and like the video to push us out into that YouTube algorithm. Following an assassination attempt on former President Donald Trump, Jack Black's Tenacious D wished do not miss Trump next time. At an assassin attempted to kill former President Donald Trump while the president was at a campaign rally in Butler, Pennsylvania, outside of Pittsburgh. The assassin's bullet failed to kill President Trump, but pierced his ear. While he failed to assassinate President Trump, he did murder, unfortunately, Corey Comparator, who used his body to shield his wife and daughter who were at the rally with him. The assassin also wounded David Dutch and James Coppenhaver, according to Pennsylvania State Police. At a concert event for the Spicy Meatball Tour in Sydney, Australia, the band celebrated the birthday of member Kyle Gra uh, Gass and with Black singing happy birthday and a birthday cake being delivered by a man in a robot costume. Now, again, really quick, quite unfortunate what happened to the firefighter that lost his life. The man died a literal hero. And I already made a video talking about good old destiny, that absolute cuck trying to do uh, anything he can to try to make money off of this by being a provocateur on Twitter. But we know he's an absolute psychopath. He's not just saying these things because he doesn't mean them. He's saying them because he absolutely means them. He believes them through and through. And it's the same thing with Jack Black. Uh, Black then informs Gas to make a wish. Gas then states, don't miss Trump next time. Much of the crowd begins laughing and chuckling. The video concludes with Black saying, thank you. <laughs> it's fucking insane. Less than a month ago, Black endorsed President Joe Biden saying when democracy is at stake, Jack Black answers the call. Mr. President, you're welcome. Back in 2022, he spoke to The Hill discussing the then upcoming midterm elections. He told the outlet, it feels like it's going to be the end of the world if we don't all get on board and vote. So these people really think that the world is going to end if Donald Trump gets into office. And let me remind you guys, ladies and gentlemen, back in 2016, they had the same exact mindset. They were literally trying to convince all of their voters that the world is going to end if Donald Trump gets in office, right? Like this is going to be a massive, massive massive event that's going to be an extinction level event you've never seen anything like it well guess what none of that happened it never happens right every time they try to adhere to people's fears people's empathies people's emotions it is all bullshit it is always going to be bullshit and that goes for any po uh, political side whenever they try to adhere to the emotions of voters just realize that it's most likely extremely bullshit and this is why they do this right and the democratic party is extremely famous for doing this they like to go after people's emotions which is why they go after the the racism narrative the misogyny narrative 
narrative, the sexism narrative, female, all that stuff. They go after that because they know it's a big thing. A lot of people vote with their emotions and they don't vote with any logic whatsoever. And again, logic doesn't mean you have to vote right. I'm just saying that perhaps you should truly think about what you're voting for before you vote for it. Because what ends up happening is you get a 2020 scenario where everybody didn't vote for uh, Joe Biden because they liked him. People were just simply voting against Donald Trump. That's what they wanted. And then they end up getting a country that is completely fucked right now. And they're looking left and center trying to figure out who did it. You did it. <laughs> you did it. So again, ladies and gentlemen, it's a quite it's quite ridiculous that people like this can get away with it. But Jack Black can get away with it because, listen, man, he's in Australia. Right. That band Tenacious D was playing in Australia. Australia isn't exactly, uh, n you know, non woke, let's just say. And they can get away with it. And uh, anytime you're talking about the right side of politics, like I always say, you can say almost damn near whatever the fuck you want and nobody will ever cancel you. It's kind of sad. Uh, he then added, I was just feeling a little anxious about the upcoming election. It's so consequential. And I've been listening to my favorite podcast and getting a little freaked out. I didn't feel like I was really participating enough and I wanted to find a way to help get out to vote. It seems like it's escalating every election cycle that it becomes more and more important to vote and more consequential and it's so exhausting black continued but so much is on the ballot this cycle we've got a woman's right to choose is on the ballot here we go the woman's right to choose is on the ballot the environment is on the ballot environmental protections and not to mention democracy is on the ballot there's so so many things that divides us in this country right now Again, keep in mind, ladies and gentlemen, this is just trying to adhere to the emotional voter. That's all it is. You got to think of women. You got to think of the environment. You got to think of democracy. It's all this bullshit, right? And it's just meant to try to get people riled up and emotional so that they vote blue no matter who. That's all it is. And again, <laughs> this is the person who will try to convince you that this is like he knows what he's talking about when it comes to politics. And again, I don't know everything when it comes to politics, but you got to admit, if you're getting your political advice from fucking Jack black you should probably think twice about voting at all uh specifically addressing president trump the hill reported that he referred to him as a threat that's always lurking in the background black stated that he's got to run because he's also running away from himself and his mountain of lawsuits if he can win again in his mind he's probably thinking oh then that'll erase the time that i lost i'll be a winner again he also claimed the 2024 election cycle would be scary, he detailed. So it'll be scary, but at the end of the day, what's more disturbing are all the people that support him. And in a way, I don't even really think he believes all of that hate talk that he's doing. There's no hate talk. That's the great thing. The only people doing hate talk is literally you. You just said, don't miss next time, right? Your, your bandmate, right, Gas, whatever his name is, said, don't miss Trump next time. And you advocated for it. You said, thank you. Great. Like, you advocated for it. So you are the kind of person that should be, uh, you know, scary for anyone, right? You're the kind of person that is putting out hate talk, you know, by definition, I guess. You're the one who's doing these things. And like a good old lefty half the time, you know, like the psycho lefties, what they end up doing is they end up projecting what they like to do you know, 24 seven, they like to project their own things that they do so that if you can uh, basically blame your opponent for things that you do all the time, whenever it's brought upon you, it looks better, right? It looks better if you blame them first before it gets to you. So again, guys, Jack Black doing this stuff is not really shocking. Jack Black uh, being part of Tenacious D who advocates for a second attempt on Trump's life is not shocking. And it's just another example of TDS running rampant throughout this entire country. So anyway, guys, thank you so much for watching this video. I hope you did enjoy it. If you did, consider leaving me a subscribe. I would greatly appreciate it. Don't forget to like the video, comment, let me know what you thought, and I'll see you guys on the next one. Hypnotic out.